Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on another side of the screen. Those of you who follow my channel know that I mentioned a few times in the past um, a while that I really wanted to do a roundup test to compare a number of GPU blocks and see if there any tangible difference or they very similar in performance and, and it possibly doesn't really matter which brand you're selecting. But I wanted to make sure. And uh, I, I did a little bit of the deep into the subject uh, uh, 2022 I believe when I had my block for 3080 and uh, I installed EK GPU blocks with active backplate I ran a little bit of the tests and then I switched to heat killer block because I just uh, I like water cool brand in general that's what I'm using usually for myself and I was surprised that uh, heat killer with a regular backplate basically gave me a couple degrees lower temperatures than I had with the K. So I said okay it's interesting I wonder like uh, is there real uh, a little bit of margin between different brands different models. So I wanted to test this for a while but a number of reasons uh, it wasn't possible for, for some time cost one factor because uh, it's just ridiculous how much GPU uses worth right now. A second availability was a little bit scarce and um, yeah and on myself I, I was preoccupied with my own stuff for most of 2023 but after all I decided to pull a plug. I had a local availability of 4090 in my local Best Buy. So I was looking at it <laughs> for, for a couple of weeks and and finally I decided that okay before stock will go away I will bite a bullet and I get the card. I tried to get uh, the card sponsored for a number of my contacts and everybody said no. But simultaneously I was asking for samples from EK, Water Cool, Alpha Cool and Bits Power and all of them said yes will help you. So I figured out okay if I, I have set huge cost of the water cooling portion of this test maybe we can afford to purchase GPU block itself which I did. So what I would like to do in this video I would like to set up a couple uh, things in a testing methodology so to speak um, I would like to get the information on uh, what air cooled temperature numbers we're getting from different applications and then this will be kind of a baseline I don't expect that air cooling uh, will be the best most efficient way uh, comparing with uh, uh, water cooling so I hope I will get much better results when I start installing blocks and we'll compare all those vendors. Here goes the setup I'm going to use. So it's IM5 test bench. I did a number of testing for CPU blocks recently and maybe it will be handy, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, so this is a car doing nothing idling uh, with its uh, humongous cooler which as I said works really well. I'm, I'm really surprised. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. But those coolers overbuilt and uh, they very big and uh, definitely it will be beneficial to have a block to reduce the size. But we'll see how much uh, result, uh, how my better performance will get by water cooling. And um, I'd like to share with you a little bit of my screen here and um, yeah, let me see. Are we in focus? Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm going to do? A uh, few programs I would like to use. So, first of all, MSI Afterburner thingy. I would like to run pure stock, like nothing. Just run a stock to see. And uh, in, in that setting, I would like to use a few programs. And uh, when I do this test, I'm actually going to overclock a little bit. I have a few presets. Um, so I basically, if we go here, so I will maximize power. So power limit will go all the way to 600 watts. I will add a little bit of clock, 
hundred memory plus fifteen hundred, and um, I will run the same tests all over again. All right. So and how I will going to measure it? So for the hardware and four will be my program to go for the sensors. So minimum, maximum temperatures, all this stuff is available right there. And um, where I need to actually maybe to show you. Yeah, right there. So hardware and four. That's uh, how I collect the stuff. Now, what next? For the burning. I would like to use um, for mark version 2 so let me toggle off here you go this is the version 2 um, or for mark I would like to run benchmark 2160 just to record what kind of um, score we get and upload it for fun of it. I also will run stability tests for maybe like 30 minutes or whatever as long as temperature will equal up and record that so it will be done twice for stock and overclock situation and also I would like to run something more realistic such as cyberpunk we will see how much um, heating uh, we get out of that. So, for mark like synthetic test, this is more something which is more realistic. It's something that everybody using some sort of gaming. And uh, Cyberpunk, pretty demanding one. Not the same level as it used to be for the crisis, but demanding enough. So. I will find busy place in this night city, save it and uh, we'll just run away. it. Also this program has a built-in uh, testing. So benchmark, so you can see the benchmark has exist. So it's possible to uh, um, to run some benchmark to get some temperatures the only problem here as I see with benchmarking it's interesting to get some numbers but um, the thing is that um, let me toggle my the thing is that it's only running for so long so in air cool environment yeah it's give you a certain heat and everything but with the water cooling environment because water will absorb something uh, pretty well in the beginning so i think it's uh, it's better to run cyberpunk just in some downtown location for a while just to make sure that it's busy enough for long enough and uh, yeah and based on the real life test like usable test and uh, based on synthetic test bench we will basically we'll compare different blocks and see if we get any difference. So that's the plan guys. If you'd like to suggest anything, feel free to type in. Otherwise, I'll just uh, proceed. It will be big work, takes uh, some time and I will release one by one as I will go through them. Alright guys, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and uh, fantastically See you in the future.